Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's do a edit of this street scene at night, but doing it just in the develop persona here. So this starts with a raw file which you open, and uh, then we use the controls here. So the picture was exposed to show the signs here, so these weren't overblown. Well, that means that the other parts are dark. So let's pull up some of that darkness, go down to the shadows and highlights here. I'm going to pull the light out of the darkness, so I'm going to pull this up here. If you look at the histogram, this is moving this way as I pull it up. So it's not affecting the top, but it's pulling up the bottom, so I'm getting light into here. If I go too far, you probably can start to look a little bit odd, so I'm just going to go round about down here. It's still a bit strange. One of the things to look for here, by the way, while we're in shadows and highlights, this area here, this kind of red and yellow in it, like this up here, and this is because I've got these set up here to catch where it's blown out a bit. So if I turn down the highlights, that red and yellow bit there will disappear. So there we go. Now let's kind of restore the contrast a bit in here. And for that we're going to kind of play with these a bit. So I'm going to pull up the exposure a bit here and bring up the black point here which is also going to kind of add a little bit more natural darkness around the street because there's, there's a lot of focus up here. But you can see the details what's happening down here and maybe a little bit of brightness which brings that up a bit. But those things are burning out again so let's go down to highlights and turn that down to correct for that. What we can do as well in terms of brightening or darkening is to go to things like the tones here, go to curves, and I can pull up this to brighten the whole picture a, a little bit. I don't want to overdo it, but I'll add back a little bit more there. And I can also go to details here. And I don't think there's much in the way of noise in this. Let's have a look. Oh, there is a bit there. Look at all this noise here. So if I turn up the luminescence, luminance here, let's see if we can ease that off. I think this could be the stone effect. We're only going to get so far because this was at night. There we go. We've actually improved that a bit, haven't we, there. It just takes a little bit of time to catch up. There we go. Yeah, it's just a matter of waiting for it to find its way. What we can do as well is go to Detail Refinement and turn this up a bit here. Start with about 10% and change this up a bit here just to sharpen a little bit the edges and wait for it to catch up. And it's not made this too noisy again in case we need to give this a bit more of a tweak. And that's OK, so Control 0 to go out again. And what else do we need to do here? I know, let's go to the overlays here. And we'll go to the gradient overlay here. And we'll make sure the type here is elliptical. So if I start here, I'm going to draw an ellipse here. And it goes kind of this reddy pinky colour. This goes both axes go together until you go to another axis and start moving that. And then the axes run individually. You can tilt it around as well and move the center point. And this is marking the area that's going to be affected by the adjustments you make here. With this, by the way, when you do an overlay here, so there's the original one, here's the overlay. This only can be changed with the basic things. The other areas here only work on the master. But with this, because I'm sort of looking to the distance, I want to draw attention and pull you into there. So I'm going to turn the brightness up a bit. So I'm literally going to turn the brightness up a bit there. Not too much, so it just looks a bit there, but just up a little bit. And maybe the do the exposure. No, just a bit, just as far as we dare to, whilst keeping it to be, it's kind of looking a bit reasonable. But we want to kind of darken the barriers around this a bit. 
So maybe I can go back to the master here and take the make this a bit darker. So go back to the basics here and pull down the exposure a bit around that. I'd like to add a little bit more vignette around the outside as well. So I'll go to the overlays and add a brush overlay and just kind of paint this myself. For this, use the right square bracket to make a nice big brush. Take the hardness and turn that all the way down so it's the soft. And then start painting here. And we'll get the red area starting off with to show where we are. And we'll just do this, but we're going to paint a bit more afterwards. And then we we'll go back to the basic here. And we want to make that darker. So let's bring the exposure down a bit here for that kind of darkness in that. You can also use the black point, find some bounce of those that works OK. But then I can sort of paint a bit more of this. But by and large, what I'm trying to do with this is to just make it hardly noticeable. And I'm doing it with sometimes with dabs in little strokes. And the advantage of little strokes is if you undo it, you undo just that little bit there. There we go. OK, that'll do. That's not bad there. Maybe also what we should be doing here is a bit of a crop. Should have done that before, shouldn't we? So I'll go to the crop here and bring this in here. Don't need those people at the edge come into a bit here. So get the detail, keep the middle of the street central. And I'm going to bring this down a bit to keep that format. And that's OK there. But once I click away from this here, so I click back to the hand there, then it's going to do that crop in there. And if I think, well, maybe I want to redo that outside again, so I'm going to just the delete there and that deletes that. Then I can add a little bit more, start again with that, go back to the brush overlay and with this I can maybe left square bracket to make that a little bit or put a little bit of this in the edge here and darken the corners here around the edge here. And now go back to the basic and turn the exposure down kind of in those areas. But I can also a bit bigger and just brush this repeatedly kind of around here. These little yellow specks here is where it's gone black. If those are annoying. I don't need to chip to adjust for that. So you can turn these off. There you go. And then that looks OK. So you can do the rest by eye. So you can even go then, well, let's go back to the master here. I think we could turn the overall down a bit. So let's go to the, uh, let's, where is it? Ah, oh, yeah, leave that on the Instagram. Go back to the basics. That's the one. And turn this down a bit. That's a bit better there. And go to that gradient overlay there. Go to the gradient tool, see if this is still right here. So I can bring this in more here, bring that top one down. So this effect is happening in a little bit more focused way. It's going to get that there. So you see, so you can go back. These almost act like layers on this. So how's that overall? I could actually add another brush overlay here and just do a little bit more painting into the corners of here, just a little bit. And go back to the basic of there and just turn the exposure down to make that just a little bit darker again, just in the corners. There we go. That's a better, I think. Maybe just a little bit darker across the top there and across the bottom. 
Yep, just by looking at it and tweaking it. And it's, this is working in the develop is slightly different to working with the photo where you're working more in layers. And there are a limited number of things you can do. But as we've shown here, there's quite a lot that can go on here. And this is just an example of doing it. After, when you're happy with this, you go to file, you can't save it. So you've got to go to develop here and then you can hit file once this thing has done its thing. So watch for this. There we go. And now we're in the photo module so we can go to file. And if you do save, then you're going to save it as a .af photo. So you can come back to keep any development you've done with it, or you can just do an export and you can export it then to anything you want here. For example, JPEG, click on export to where you want it to go. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.